Hi guys, I just got the invite to start configuring my Tesla Model X. Very excited. Um, so I just want to show you guys some of the options. So you can spin the car kind of to see what it looks like. And choose the different paint colors. I'm I'm a white person, so I I like the color white. Um, in interior, I like black. Kind of boring, right? So these two options. Uh, are extra. Actually, these three options are extra. Actually, everything is extra <laughs> except for white and black. So, we're going to keep it at solid white because that's the way I like my cars white. And the wheels, you can see that the uh, standard is 20 inch. You can get another. Uh, 20 inch is the silver helix wheels for $2,500 more. And uh, here's the 22 inch uh, performance wheels, I guess. Uh, the silver turbines. I like the black wheels with the white car. That's the extra $4,500. Uh, for interior, um, I, I like my uh, on the model S there wasn't an option to change the, the headliner when I bought it back in 2013 but uh, now you can change it so it's n nicer if you have an all black interior so uh, all leather seats will bump you up another 2500 uh, you can have tan or ultra white pretty interesting but uh, I think it'll be pretty hard to keep clean even though it says include stain resistant coating um, oops. then you have your um, your trim pieces and dark ash wood decor for seventy uh, seven hundred fifty dollars. All these other ones are same price. Uh, that these are too old for me. And this is the one that comes with, I guess, the package, which is matte. Um, um, I like carbon fiber. Of expensive taste, uh, but I'll keep my interior black and uh, carbon fiber. Getting up there in price, so you have your three options here. Uh, looks like uh, if you choose the lesser of the options, uh, Tesla makes less money so what they do is they kind of push this off uh, to late 2016 if you want your car now you have to get um, the high top of the line versions which is the p90d and that would pretty much guarantee that you'll get it within the next uh, batch run that they produce which is in the next like uh, either uh, four to eight weeks after you after you place your order so the 70d is uh, 220 miles range 0 to 60 in 6.0 seconds and top speed of uh, 140 miles per hour and you, you, if you order this you're gonna get it late 2016 um, if you go with the middle of the pack which is the 90D 
Uh, you get 257 miles range, EPA estimate, um, 4.8 seconds to, to 60, and top speed of 155. And it includes smart air suspension. And this uh, basically bumps you to another level, uh, which delays about another six months. So you won't get it until like the middle of 2016. And the top of the line would be this, the P90D, uh, 250 mile range, 3.8 seconds to 60. If you include the ludicrous option, which is this, for another $10,000, you get 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. And then you also have uh, the top speed of 155 miles per hour, and uh, you get an extra um, item, which is the active spoiler. Again, you probably get this in f four to uh, eight weeks. I'm thinking somewhere in between around six six weeks, right, right after you uh, hit the uh, send it, send in your order or or finalize your configuration. So here's all the standard equipment. You st the warranty when when Elon uh, bumped us up to eight years in infinite mile battery uh, and drive unit warranty comes with the standard four year 50 mile limited warranty so here's the ludicrous mode what else active spoiler A active spoiler <clears throat> uh, improves aerodynamics the red calipers and uh, here's the three seating configurations. So if you don't want the uh, six seat or the seven seat configuration, you're gonna have to wait until the middle of 2016. So if you want your, your um, car now, and that's the whole reason why you would choose the P90D, uh, you're gonna have to choose either six seat or the seven seat. Um, I I have a large family, so I'm gonna go with the seven seater. And then the other uh, option that you have is the autopilot for twenty five hundred dollars. Have to have it. Uh, and then there's the premium upgrade package another forty five hundred dollars uh, what does this include uh, adds a wide range of fit and finish refinements including automatic driver's doors air filter air filtration led lighting and more comfortable higher quality materials throughout the cabin uh, wow okay so basically the the HEPA filter the bio defense button that Elon um, um, demoed uh, pretty cool have to have it uh, the air suspension comes with the P90D uh, the upgraded sound system need it have to have it uh, I'm in the northeast so it gets really cold in in the winter have to have the sub zero package for a thousand dollars is a no brainer. Uh, the towing package, I, I don't really have anything to tow, I don't have a boat or a trailer, uh, so I'm, I'm not really gonna think about getting it with this or not. So, oh, by the way, this this here is a hidden feature you have to type. Once you get into this page, you have to type on your keyboard charger, and then you'll get this option pop up. Or else it's 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 hidden. It's like an Easter egg or some shit like that. So uh, make sure you you get yours with the um, 
the 72 amp so make sure you type charger uh, when you get to your page for configuration or else you're not going to get your car with the 72 amp um, yeah I don't I don't know about getting this either I mean I guess uh, you can probably get it later on these these two options the to the the towing package uh, and uh, the accessory hitch I'm gonna click this it doesn't require me to get the towing package so available for service center installations at no cost so I guess they haven't produced these yet so if you order it you're not gonna get it until mid 2016 but you're gonna get your car uh, and you pro probably just have to uh, set up a service appointment for them to install it for you uh, oh, I don't I don't really go skiing e either so I don't see a need for that uh, so these are the only two options I'm not taking which is the towing package and uh, the accessory hitch and the grand total is a hundred and forty nine thousand dollars if you add the destination and dock fees it's over a hundred fifty thousand dollars that's how much it's gonna cost me to get everything decked out Wow crazy uh, it's a little bit more pricey than my uh, uh, fully loaded uh, Model S. I think I got that for uh, 130,000. Now it's basically another $20,000 more than I paid for the the Model S about two and a half years ago. Um, so the the other option you have here is uh, whether you want to do a, a cash or a lease. So let's just click lease to see what the the, the monthly payments would be. Um, so if I lease it and I get the the fifteen thousand miles per year, it's uh, twenty one hundred and twenty six dollars a month, and that's for a thirty six month lease. And uh, f we basically have to uh, shell out. Uh, seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-one dollars due at signing. So I already put down five thousand dollars for for um, uh, to to get on the waiting list or get get um, on the reservation list. So I guess I just have to put out another twenty-eight hundred and twenty-one dollars. And in my state, I don't have to pay sales tax for electric vehicles. So. Um, if I buy it, it'll be this, and so I don't know. I'm I'm still waiting to see uh, if they would get rid of all the bugs uh, for 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 the initial batch. I I'm hearing uh, from the forums that uh, there's some issues with the Falcon Wing door sensors and also some fit and finish uh, issues. Definitely, in the first like a few months, they're gonna uh, not build the the uh, the car as well as they can build it uh, with with a little bit more time and experience. Uh, the technicians would definitely do a better job. So, I'm I'm still on the fence as to whether I'm gonna pull the trigger right, you know, now and and. Uh, maybe get a product that's not uh, I'm not happy with which you know hundred and fifty thousand dollar car uh, I want to be happy so uh, if I do a lease mm, they do have like a 90 day guarantee so if you if you don't love it you can give it back for any reason so that that's their guarantee um, 
I don't know. At this point, I'm still on the fence. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and uh, if it's your turn, um, I'm, I'm sure you're going to love the car. Um, plenty of people already uh, gotten it about, about uh, I think, close to like 500 deliveries already so yeah I I'm still waiting to see what uh, these people are saying about the car and uh, if it's worth it or not uh, so we'll probably wait another few weeks before I pull the trigger on this and plus I still have um, I still have my Model S uh, P85 Plus, so uh, I'm still driving uh, a two and a half year old car. Uh, still love it, uh, even though it doesn't have autopilot and uh, all the other new features that's come out so far. All wheel drive. Uh, really, the uh, the rear wheel drive with the snow tires are are really good in the snow, so. Um, I can't imagine how how good the uh, all-wheel drive is with uh, snow tires in the snow. That would be that would be really awesome. So I guess uh, stay tuned. I mean, uh, and uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, uh, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.